we completed our round tour over the island of Sicily. We visited Mount Etna, we have seen beautiful beaches and picturesque cities. Because on the way there I was somewhat confused about the different ferry companies and I had to wait a long time. I decided not to buy a ticket in advance but just do it at the harbor. The waiting time was shorter this time and especially less stressful. This time this went really smooth. I bought a ticket at the ticket desk uh, and this is the only line there is. I think we're gonna go on the boat pretty fast so that's good. After about 30 minutes we could board the boat. The crossing is only 20 minutes, so you have some time to look around. After 20 minutes, we were back on the mainland where we came from, Villa San Giovanni. But we're not staying here, we are driving further inland. Hello everybody and welcome back to our channel. We are today in a very cute small village. Uh, after we left the uh, island, we uh, drove all the way from sea level up to this. Look how beautiful. All the way back there you can still see the sea but we're now pretty high up in a small village it's really cool in this video we are going to do some more chores uh, in this village there should be everything we need um, there is a place to do laundry there should be a place where we can guess for our camper and do some uh, grocery shopping. So that's what we're gonna do uh, tomorrow actually. Um, and we're gonna decide whether we're staying in Italy the coming weeks or that we are, are, we are going to Albania. So stay tuned to see what we're going to decide. Next to the camper spot is um, a park on a hill and um, they have barbecues like everywhere like there are over 10 in this whole park area. I would love to see one day that the whole village comes out and have barbecues in those parks. How nice is that? What I love most about van life is that you just get to places where you just wouldn't go if you were just going for your vacation. But now that we are living in our camper, we get to places that are just so cute and if you're thinking about a Italian town this is what would come to my mind I think that the community in this little town is very strong we are living on this little square and every day we are accompanied by a lot of youth that are chilling over here so I feel like we're part of this little town <laughs> the facilities are free again I believe that even the electricity is free but we don't need that right now we have enough sunlight but obviously that is really cool from this little town to offer that. Mm -hmm. 
How cool is this school bus? There is also water at the parking spot, but here on the street you can also get your water. Nikoma was the local butcher. Lola obviously really likes those smells. Obviously we do stick out quite a bit over here. So yeah, that's okay. It is the next day. We are on a spot where there is a place for laundry and a supermarket. But there's not really a place to park, so we're on the side of the road, so this will have to do. I saw also a gas place with gas tanks in front, but it's closed. So maybe it's open when we are done with the laundry and otherwise that we'll have to wait for another time. So let's start with the laundry. Well, we are not the only ones today, unfortunately, so we did have to wait a bit and now we have two machines, one very small one and one bigger one. So I have some other blankets, but maybe I skip that till the next time, otherwise I do have to wait pretty long. So let's go and do some grocery shopping in the meantime. Okay, let's check how long we still have to wait. Five more minutes, so let's bring those groceries back inside. Look at her. Okay, we are here, another beautiful parking lot, uh, but this will have to do for the night. We are back at a place where there is hopefully a Vodafone store, because I have to figure out what to do with the internet. I hope they can help me. So I'm gonna bring my assistant, ChatGPT, to translate and hopefully <laughs> This will work out and we can decide that we are going, but we're still not sure. So let's go. I don't see any signs that Lola cannot come in, so she's coming. This is no longer a Vodafone shop, but they were helpful and they say that there is another shop nearby. But it is closed now, so let's go there tomorrow morning. Okay guys, I figured it out. Don't mind my face. Oh, it is very hot. But I figured it out with the internet. With this card I do have some internet in other countries. So hopefully that's enough with the internet that I have on my phone. Altogether, I think it will be fine. Let me show you what the plans are. We are now around here somewhere. We have to drive all the way to Brindisi. And then with the ferry, we are going to Flore. I don't know what's that, uh, how that's pronounced. Uh, but that's Albania. So that... It's gonna happen tomorrow night it is a night trip it is over six hours six hours and 20 minutes I think what is it 
no, six hours and 31 minutes, and we are leaving at a midnight actually. Midnight. So it is during the night, that's cool. Uh, I have no idea what to expect from the trip, so we're just gonna see, but you guys are gonna see that next week. We are now going, it's still like three hours to get there, so we're leaving tomorrow. So we are gonna drive uh, today, it is so warm today, there's no wind and we're in full sunshine. So we're gonna drive and hopefully it will cool down a bit tonight. Um, but yeah, you're gonna see that uh, next week. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe and the bell so you don't miss it because we're gonna travel all the way from Albania, Montenegro, Bosnia, Croatia and then all the way back to the Netherlands. So that's gonna be a big adventure. I hope you're gonna follow us. We will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.